Okay, I think that should be good. Should be live and audible and wow. See, the, these games don't sound loud when I first start playing them, but as soon as I start trying to talk over them, then I realize I can't hear myself and I need to turn it down. I should probably use it as a rule of thumb when I'm playing games in general and not just when I'm streaming. So I did a little grinding off stream. Not mu oh wow, actually, what, what the fuck? Oh wait, no. Yeah, I already looked at these before. Oh, I didn't save, that's probably why. Yeah, I remember, I remember reading all these already. Except for Saturn. Uh, you have the Dr. Light card? No, I do not. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I was doing a little grinding off stream. What I did was I maxed out my lives, got a, maxed out my screws, and got a power up for the next stage. Not much, but it's all I can manage for now. And I picked up one new disc, which was Saturn, which is uh, with the weapon called Black Hole, he can draw in objects toward himself. Does it ring a bell on you? On you? Okay. Cool. Good point, fickle-minded. Bad point, low allowance. Likes hula hoop, dislikes video games. Makes sense. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, 9 lives, 999 screws, and I have the present ball, which immediately goes away. Wait, actually... Why do I have the present ball? Oh, you know what? It's not. It's because I didn't save after buying it. You can't really save after buying it, because the second you go into a stage, it gets used. So last time I beat, uh, what was it? Five of the Robot Masters... And I've got three more to go, all of which are a pain in the dick. I guess we'll go for Dynamo Man. He's the easier one. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I kind of don't want this game to stretch out another stream. So if I'm hitting like... An hour left and I'm not beating it, I might start just abusing save states. This game structured differently from the SNES one. Um, from the SNES version of Mega Man and Base? No, it's exactly the same. It's just a, a port. If you're talking about Mega Man 7, then yes, it is structured quite differently. Unless the SNES version of Mega Man and Base isn't like this, and I didn't know. I don't even know if, like, I I'm, don't know if this game's gonna take me three hours to beat from this point, but... No, I mean, there's only eight Robot Masters. I'm pretty sure they didn't change that. Four of them are from Mega Man 8, and the other four are new. And it's, uh, the intro stage, then three Robot Masters, then another five. And then you go to the Crystal stage, and then the end. Dynamo Man uh, is usually... If, oops. Wouldn't, I don't even need that. I don't know why I dumped down for it. Um, Dynamo Man is often the last Robot Master because to get to him, you have to beat Astro Man because he's the only other Robot Master that leads to him. And the problem is Astro Man is one of the tougher battles in the game. So it, it kind of often comes down to Dynamo Man being the last one you go to.
Great. Well, that's what the ball does. It makes a ball appear in a certain place. And unfortunately, it appeared halfway into a stage instead of at the end. So that's funny, because Astro Man's kind of a joke in Mega Man 8. Yeah, no, he is definitely one of the harder ones in this game. Even with his weapon weakness, he's pretty damn rough. Because Magic Man uh, does not do a lot of damage to him. I believe, yeah, you slide through here. I think the worst part about this game is probably how the boss rush is structured at the end, because I don't think you get a chance, you get a choice, it's just like, it's a straight hallway, so if you're not ready for a certain Robot Master, you're just kinda fucked. That's nice. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, look at that. They home in on a... Uh... Shadow. Uh. Yeah, that didn't help. Thank you. out of this. Oh my god, it's impossible. Like, wh what the shit am I doing wrong? Yeah, no, this game's a ball buster. It's, the lack of E-Tanks is just, just terrible. And now I don't have any copy body left, so... Okay, cool. Yeah, no. The fact that he heals, like, any time he gets low on HP is, is awful. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I could have swore he was one of the easier ones in the game, too. Maybe there's another weapon I have to switch to. Yeah, that doesn't really help me very much. Um, there's another enemy that heals. One of the enemies in ZX heals. I believe, uh, the hidden boss can heal his health in, uh, ZX.
Yeah, Rush is not very useful in this game. I think he's mostly around for disc pulling up or whatever. I think you need him to dig up shit. Like some of the data discs. Oh my god, look at that. He, he took no damage because of all that refilling he did. Pretty bullshit in general. Oh, I got him, though. I managed to get him in the middle of an attack. Now to never use this ability on anyone. It's good against Iceman, who's like the e or Cold Man, who's like the easiest robot master in the game. Buy another life. Oh, nice. The rest of the items are here. All right, what do we got? E saver. Allows you special weapons by consuming less energy. This item is so environmentally friendly. Yes, we will be getting that immediately. I need to equip that. HSC. Allows you to charge the Mega Buster much quicker. Want me to make this? Yes. Is there a part left over? Uh, don't, don't worry. This game always felt like a fan game. It, it is very difficult. That's one of the reasons I didn't like Mega Man, like, Infinity or whatever it was called. It was too, uh, too hard. Also, I need my glasses today. I don't know why my glasses, why I'm, can't see. And, fucking internet connection. Suddenly dropping. Okay, there we go. CD finder and CD counter. We don't, we're not going for either of those, so we don't need these. Uh, D absorb, S armor, A recover. So we got these two. Beat. When beat will deliver a barrier to you. Just be careful not to touch the spikes. Yes, let's get that. Well, even if it, even in that, it has a lot of Mega Man Eight assets in it too. Yeah. So I can't get this. Makes you slowly recover life energy. I mean, that is useful, and I probably will get that, but not right now. D-Absorb. Life energy will be slightly refilled every time you receive energy or damage. All is grist. What? Wait, 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 what? Your life energy will be slightly refilled every time you receive damage. That makes no sense. I think what that is is your weapon energy gets refilled when you take damage. All is grist that comes to his net. No, we're not getting that. Um... S armor. Reduces the amount of damage inflicted. However, please do not put too much confidence in it. Yes, we will be getting that immediately. So how much do I need? I need uh, 300 for that, 450 for that. So I need 750 more, more bolts. And these two I'm not going to use, so I'm not going to bother getting them. I used to play Game Maker Mega Man games all the time. Have you tried uh, Mega Man Maker? For, for the PC. I, I've been meaning to try that out at some point. I might stream it. There's a hundred right there. It's pretty cool. I've seen um I've seen it streamed a bit. Has a lot of options, a lot of neat it's pretty much Mario Maker with Mega Man assets. Alright, so, Pirate Man's weak to Burner Man, and Burner Man's a pain in the ass, so this is probably where the bulk of today's stream is going to be. In. That my PC would run that. Honestly, I doubt mine would either, but I might try it, just because it's not too intensive. Use less energy for special weapons. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Reduces the amount of damage done to me. And this is quick... Oh, no, I don't have to equip this. This is just automatic. Nice. Yeah, that's more like regular charging now. 
why they purposely gimp the charging in this game until you get that is beyond me. What's that refilling that I don't have full of... Fell down that ladder for some reason. Oh my god, look how much nicer that is now that I'm not taking like a trillion points of damage every time I get hit. I guess they figured you get so many power ups in this and eight that you don't need, um, you don't need E-Tanks. I still think it's a poor cho choice not to include them, though. Okay, now that's not doing anything. I wonder what that was for before. Whatever. Oh yeah, and beat is a uh, beat is a weapon. No e tanks be hardcore. I mean, I have to in this game. You don't have much of a choice. Or I should have an e tank dog bowl. That'd be pretty funny. I've always wanted to try the e tank energy drink that they came out with a few years ago. I've heard it's very syrupy. <laughs> so it's probably awful, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind trying it. How the hell are you supposed to get over there? I doubt you could jump on top of a ice pillar. Nah, magic card doesn't pick up, uh, discs. I tried that last time. Piece of crap part. Ugh. What does this have to do with Burner Man? Then again, what does this whole stage have to do with Burner Man? To be fair, I didn't know that either. I thought it could pick up uh, the discs. It's also getting in there. I don't know what the, how to do that. Oh, there was a disc there. It's burning trees. Yeah. Forest fire. Arson's never cool. Actually, no. Arson's probably one of the coolest things you could do. Which is ironic because it has to do with fire. Start doing your thing. Honestly, if it gets to the point where I start losing all my lives, I might just save and, like, quit. Or not even save and quit, just quit. Because then I could start with 8 again. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Uh, 
Use less energy for special weapons. Ice wall. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. And I'm already low on health and dead. Cool. Hmm. Maybe we'll go with that instead. Why is he so damaging? Like, he's, like, the worst when it comes to damage. Also, he's so many attacks. I really hate it. And I'm taking a lot of damage here. Okay. I, I'm i so confused. Like, what am I doing wrong? There is definitely, like, an inconsistency with how I'm handling this. No, Eddie, come on. No. No. Weapon energy? That'd be nice. Thanks for nothing. Cool, thank you, I hate it. What was the point? What was even the point? He just... Oh my god, look at the damage! His damage is ridiculous. It's just too much. It's too much to deal with. And he just bypassed it completely. Come on, man. You gotta play nicer than that. It might be time for a reset. I don't... You know, I can't even... I don't even have enough energy. No, a lot of the weapons in this game are just shit. Wait a minute, what happens if I pick the resume data? Oh, never mind, it's gone. Yeah, the problem is the ice wall won't work unless I'm, like, right up in him. I just think there's something very, like, unbalanced with Burner, man. The fact that he killed me so quickly, even with Damage Guard on, is really telling. Some of them are good, some of them are just awful. Like, the Ice Wall- the Ice Wall is a very utility weapon. You use it to get across gaps and to climb ledges and shit. But when it comes to attacking, it's like one of the worst. This is nice. Glad I got stuck there. 
Was it worth it? The answer is, is no, it was not. Oh man, I wish I had the Metal Blade. I, I wish that was in this game. Am I seriously gonna die at the beginning? Come on. And then you don't even get a chance to like, you don't even start in the middle. I'm not taking that because I don't want to lose life. I'm playing bad now because I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to deal with it. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure Pirate Man's a joke when you have Burner Man's weapon. So, I'm, I'm like suffering now just to have an easy time right afterwards. And then it's all gonna go to shit once I get to King's Castle. Because, uh, that is not fun. I love how I just completely fell down the pit and then Mega Man started clawing down the, uh, ladder right after that. I think the D-pad on this controller is getting kind of messy. Because it's not working right. I love that weapon. I, I wish that weapon would be useful on a hard boss instead of Cold Man. I love Mega Man games until I don't love them anymore, and then, then they just get annoying. Once a Mega Man game's run its course, that's when... See, like, right now... Oh, this is fun. That's, that's great. You're not bashing your head against a brick. It's not a good <laughs> brick wall. It's not a good game. Yeah, that describes my game, my game experience in a nutshell. Yeah. Oh, no, I love Mega Man, and I think that most of the games are solid. This is a very rare exception, though. I th I remember this game being fun and worth playing, but. You know what? It's probably because most of the time I played this game, I was playing as base. And base is way easier to beat this game with than Mega Man. It's not even close. This game was definitely designed more to be a base game. Because this was the first and only time he was playable. Actually, no, sorry, he's playable on 10. Mega Man 10 was a fun game. I wouldn't mind streaming that at some point. You have a horrible habit of calling him Bass like the fish. 
Well, I say bass because it's like the music in musical instrument. Still don't know how to get over there. Probably because of the horrible dubbed cutscene in Mega Man 8. I completely forgot that they call him Bass in that. Mega Man 8 planted the seed, yeah. Go with this. Let's pull up Beat as well, just to see how well he handles this situation. It was also the birth of Elmer Fudd, Dr. Light. I would love to know who, who the hell that voice actor was. Oh, okay, I see. It only runs down when you're getting hit. So if I don't get hit, I don't have to worry about it. Probably can't change weapons while I have it equipped, though. Oh my god, there we go. I really should not have won that. Can't wait to have to do that again in Wily's Castle. Wave burner. I don't know why, but I always felt like as soon as you get to the end of the game and you start getting into, like, the refights and stuff like that, I always felt like that was the weakest part of most Mega Man games. I mean, sometimes I'm proven wrong. Like, Mega Man 10 did a really good, uh, Wily Castle. But I always feel like some of the other stages are kind of, eh. I think that's Pirate Man. I think I don't have a gray one, do I? No, that's gray, but I already... I always like the Robot Master stages more. Yeah, same here. You know what? You know what contributes to that, though? It's the fact that the when I was younger... Oh, wow, your, your slide is actually completely... Oh, neat. I didn't realize that. This thing actually has two moves. When you slide with the dash... Or with the slash, it turns into a dash instead. Whatever it's called. What is it? T-Blade. But yeah, growing up, um, the only Mega Man game I had was... 2 on the Game Boy, which... To this day, people say it's the worst Game Boy game, and... I have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I also don't disagree, because I've played all five at this point. And, um, two on the Game Boy, it was just four Mega, uh, four Mega Man 2 stages, and four Mega Man 3 stages, and then the final level. There was no, like, big build-up for it. I gotta... My cord was getting tangled there. What do we 
gotta get next? <laughs> screws. I got the E-Saver already, right? Yeah. Got the D-Absorb. Oh, wait, no, I don't have the D-Absorb. I have the S-Armor. The A-Recover. I got this, right? Yeah. So I need... I'm, I'm gonna get the A-Recover for it first, because the D-Absorb isn't that useful. In fact, I might not get these three at all. But yeah, I'll, I'll wait for to get the A-Recover. Because the Auto-Recover will come in handy in the end of the game. Auto-absorbs the D. <laughs> Alright, finally we can be Pirate Man. Uh, D-absorb on. Oh, what? My T-Blade didn't get filled. What the hell? I thought when you leave that stage, you're supposed to automatically get uh, everything refilled. Okay. It's cool that that's not working. I don't feel like this was the room that I was. Oh, no, never mind, it is. Cool. Thanks for being right there when I jumped down. with me why how come I can't kill these guys quickly anymore all right not <sighs> Mega Man come on that's partially because he just automatically like jumped up at the end there when he gets to the top of the ladder like I said his hitbox is gigantic <sighs> also my voice really cracked weirdly there when I said gigantic Wasn't even worth it. And then there's another one. Those spinning ground things can be destroyed in at least one game, but I don't remember which one it was. I feel like I should have made that jump. Also, underwater, this thing uh, works differently. You can see it's like it's like a shockwave underwater. Oh, you can just break his bubble. Like I said, piece of cake. It's a pretty short stage compared to the others. Yeah, the stages in this game are pretty inconsistent. I think it might be something like the returning bosses have longer stages or shorter ones. I'm not sure. Remote mine. I don't know who that's good against. Oh, you know what? That's good against Ground Man.
That's annoying. Okay. Wow, really? Come on. You've got to be shitting me. It's a little transitional area, and you're gonna fucking... Okay, cool. That's neat. So what do I do now? Yeah, like I said, Pirate Man, easy as hell if you have his weapon. Or if you have a Burner Man's weapon. No, don't pick a new game. God damn it. Oh, I gotta reset again. There's no soft resetting in this game either. Which is really annoying. Okay, everything's filled up again. There we go. Yep, now I can go to the end. But first, I will get the auto health refill, because that is really important. So the only things I'm missing are these three. Actually, let me buy this too. I don't. Oh, I know. I already have one. Okay. These three, which I don't need because I don't care about the CDs, and the D absorb could come in handy, but I'm probably never going to equip it because I'd rather have the S armor equipped. I can only think of maybe a few instances where D absorb would come in handy. But you know what? Maybe I'll go. I'll get some screws for it real quick before I go to King. Because I think once you go here, you're kind of locked into it. I'm not sure. Whew, I'm getting kind of drowsy. I actually managed to sleep um, a straight seven hours last night, which is unusual for me. Usually I'd only do like four or five at most. And then I get drowsy and have to take a nap in the middle of the day. Yeah, I got this CD here at the beginning, while, while I was grinding this afternoon to get the uh, screws and lives. I already read it. It was uh, Saturn. One of the Mega Man or one of the uh, Robo Lloyds or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't know. But yeah, usually, I like take a nap in the early evening, and wow, that is cruel that they don't let you, uh... Wow, what the hell is that? Come on. That's just, that's just cruel what that is. Having a 10-month-old and trying to maintain gaming equals no sleep. Oh, you, you have a kid? Wow. Oh my god, almost fell. <gasps> no! Hey man, there's nothing wrong with, with not growing up. And it's it's good to know that there's a, people with children who feel the same way. Because, <laughs> man, let me tell you, being 30 and living at home with, with your parents is kind of lame. Or just my mother, really. I mean, she's nice. I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing. It's just... Ugh. Oh, you're younger than me. I'm 30. I'm older than Mega Man. Mega Man came out in December of 1987. And I was born in June of 87. Boom. Boom. Probably should jump one platform forward. Uh, got it. Uh, how we doing? I'm a year older than you. I'm not old. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I do sound very young, which kind of works to my benefit. I wouldn't mind having a kid someday. I don't know. Nice, got my extra life back. Come on, give me some screws. Yeah, usually I, I take a nap during the afternoon and sleep like four or five hours at night. I actually managed to get into good solid seven last night, but I'm still drowsy, which I'm really hoping that goes away after a while, because I really gotta fix the sleep schedule. My career depends on it. Which is not Twitch, by the way. I am not making like any money off of being an affiliate at all. Not to belittle anyone's contributions, people have contributed to the stream, and I appreciate that, but I also haven't even made enough for a payout yet. Four fifteen. Oh wait, I got enough for the thing now, don't I? Do whatever you need to be happy, don't value your life based on other people. Yeah, that's something that we all need to take to heart. Something that I also don't work on quite enough, too. Oh no, it's definitely a human condition thing. We live in a society that's made to value what others have above all else, so... It gets really easy to fall into that trap. But you know, if it wasn't for that, I also probably wouldn't have picked myself up this past year. And... Well, stream- definitely streaming. Streaming came about as part of me feeling lousy and also watching someone stream every night. Who I, I still do. If you if you know Vine Sauce, I watch him every night. And he's like kind of an inspiration. But um I mean the other the other thing is that like I've been out of a job for a very long time and I was like, I don't I don't know what to do. I'm kinda lost. This is really lame and I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with my life. And then I kinda was like... Reintroduced to... The things that I dreamed about doing... Through certain people that I met this year. Well, really, a certain person. And I don't know, I mean... That hasn't worked out yet for me, so... I got enough here. 650? Eh. It's easy to just stand here and grind, honestly. You don't have any career aspirations. I mean, that's fine, too. You don't need, you don't need like, a super exciting, like, high productivity life to, you know, enjoy it. Sometimes just, you know, getting by and enjoying the people around you and what you do, like, for fun. That's all you really need. And trust me, sometimes my own life is like that. 
pretty much the last four years of my life have been nothing but free time, so... I've had to pretty much just come to enjoy what I do in my free time, because it's all I have. It's also rough, because I don't make any money. Truth is, the, what I want to do with my life, which is voice acting, by the way, I, um... I've mentioned that quite a few times on stream, but... Since you're new, I'm, I'm gonna mention it again. That doesn't actually make a whole lot of money off the bat, at least. So, I'm prepared to live, like, modestly. I just want to make sure I could enjoy what I'm doing. Which I am. I mean, I, I sound awkward on stream. I'm definitely a lot less so when I audition, because... I just, you know, I have a script. I have time to prepare. I'm not doing everything off the cuff. And I can take time to figure out what I want my voice to sound like, rather than talking in my normal, cracky, high-pitched voice. 875. I'll just max myself out at this point. That way I have screws for extra lives later if I need them. Or I could just buy everything else in the shop, rather. Oh no, yeah, voice acting is not stable at all. You need to either audition constantly, or get used to only having one gig a year. Or even both. Because <laughs> honestly, I haven't been auditioning enough, and I haven't gotten anything yet. And meanwhile, people who audition a lot say they get nothing, so... It's kind of a crapshoot. You just kind of have to do it if you do it to love it, or do it because you love it, not because... You expect some, like, big paycheck or lucky break or anything. Hold on one second. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My mom just gave me uh, an apple with some caramel on it. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, it's got peanuts. I probably shouldn't have ate that on stream. No. <laughs> mm, let me drink some water here. I think my brother brought that home. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her later. Either way, thank you. Uh, what's, uh, what keeps me going now? Seeing him growing up and release dates to games I'm hyped about. You know what? That's a great way to live life. Especially, you know, when you have a kid, you gotta care about him. I can't imagine having a kid, me having a kid now, when I'm, like, so lost on my own life. I'd be like, I don't, I, I don't know what to do. I'm worried I, I wouldn't be able to raise him. Alright, I maxed out. Uh, to be a voice in a game would be epic, though. True, and I'm trying out for many right now. The truth is, there's a big market out there for voiceover, including in games. In indie games, they'll go to, like, boards and stuff all the time and hire, like, you know, freelancers and people who just want to try out for fun. I've auditioned for at least three or four games, one of which is apparently going to be on, like, every major console in the next year. And... It would be amazing if I heard back from it, but I'm also not going to hold my breath on it because I'm not too great at this yet, and, you know, there's a thousand people auditioning for a thing and only 15 roles. That means 985 people aren't getting anything. It's different once you have one. I was once that way. Yeah. I imagine it's a lot different once you have a kid. I wouldn't... I'm 30, but I wouldn't want one until I made sure that the rest of my life was, like, in order first. I think you're pretty good with the voice acting. Thank you. I appreciate that, but I also know that I got a long way to go. The voice cracking during streams is kind of a, a wake-up call, really. And yeah, it's, it's an apple with caramel and uh, peanuts on it. Whew. Nom. Uh, Deabsorb? Yeah, that was it. 
absorbing that D. As long as you know where CDs are buried, ask Rush to dig them out. Yeah, you need Rush to get the CDs that are buried under the ground. Burn to the ground! Enhances the function of your comm system, lets you know how many CDs remain. Yeah, why not? I think that's everything. Speaking of burning to the ground, um... I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but all eight X games are coming to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC next year. Which, I'm wondering how that's going to work. But, that's interesting, because X7 and X8 were never on, um... Were never on a system other than, like, their original releases. Let me take another bite of this apple. That's good. And then Switch is also getting the uh, Mega Man Legacy Collections, which they didn't have yet. And everything's getting Mega Man 11. So by the end of next year, all current-gen consoles will have every classic game aside from this, and every X game. No achievements on the Switch hurts. Um... I kind of agree. Whenever I played an Xbox game, I would always be like, oh, I should get at least half the achievements, but... Uh, I honestly don't mind. I don't mind there being no achievements on the Switch, just because I'm not really a big achievement guy. I really want to try X8, X7, not so much. I feel like I have an obligation to play through both at least once, even though I know X7 is awful. And that's where that burn to the ground meme comes from. I'm addicted to 100%. Yeah. I'm definitely addicted to one, to completing games uh, as much as I can, but there's also a limit to how much I will finish a game, usually. If doing everything's too hard or kind of time-consuming. Can't talk while that thing's in my mouth. Our transmission seems to be jammed. Alright, so... What am I gonna put on here? Uh, probably this. Feels a little energy when damaged, yeah. So I'm pretty much... I'm stacked up here. This is as good as it's getting. You 100% in Mega, um, Legacy 1 and 2 and Mighty Number no. 9. There's an achievement that's un unobtainable and if anyone will fix it. Why am I not surprised? I haven't played Mighty Number no. 9 yet, which is kind of upsetting. I've pl I was waiting for the 3DS version and it never happened. I might get it uh, if it goes on sale at some point. Shit. I didn't know that happened. My number nine is like Mega Man with no heart put into it. Didn't go into it with the high expectations. I've seen a speedrun of it. It doesn't look terrible. It really, like, I think people give it more shit than it deserves, but it doesn't look great. God, I hate how big Mega Man's hitbox is in this game. It's not a bad game, but it's not Mega Man. Yeah. I mean, the whole the whole dash system, I think, is pretty cool. Like, the fact that you can rush through enemies and get, like, a certain amount of energy out of them. I feel like that's something that wasn't used right. Actually, the reason people are pissed is because how huge budget was. Yeah, and the fact that it was delayed, like, a million times... Actually, that's, that reminds me, um, that other game that came out on the Switch this year, Mighty Gunvolt Burst, which was the, like, updated version of Mighty Gunvolt. That's more or less like a uh, Mighty Number no. 9, like, retro but properly done version of it. And I've been meaning to play that at some point. Alright, so there's just a life down there, I don't want to go down for that. Hmm. 
ass. All right. Ugh. Whoa, that's fast. All right, we don't want to get caught in that. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Oh boy, here we go. Roku blocks. Feeling that's not the only. That's, oh, no, never mind. I guess this is the end of them. Yeah, no. Capsules do not make a ta-da sound. Also, I love this stage theme. I honestly feel like this version of it's way better than, uh... the SNES version as well. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Uh... This stage is kind of a neat, like, culmination of everything that I've gone through up to this point. Complete with annoying-ass Sniper Joes. Oh, cool. So there's more of them. For fuck's sake, man. Hmm. Oh, I used my spike shit. God damn it. I did not mean to use that, but whatever. That worked out in my favor. Great. Really, there's a health refill right there, too. I can't hit him with the uh, charge shot because it hits that spinny thing. I feel like there's a lot of situations in this game where it's, like, impossible to either avoid damage without wasting, uh, weapon energy. Also, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Okay. Come on, man. Alright. I... Alright. That, uh, didn't feel like that's what I was supposed to do, but whatever. This whole game feels very cheap. No, no, don't grab the ladder. Aww. 
I didn't realize it wasn't included in the collections. Yeah, it's not a very good game. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not true. It is a good game, it's just... It could definitely stand by not being as archaic feeling as it is. They definitely went to extra lengths to make the game feel more difficult. And I think the e the lack of E-Tanks is probably the worst culprit here. And the fact that you can only have one spike item at a time. Also, the, the gigantic hitboxes. It's weird. I think it has to do with them the fact that they're trying to use like the 32-bit Mega Man sprite in, in a game that's 16-bit. And I think that the compressing the sprite down might have fucked up the hitbox or something. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to take another bite of this apple now because it's good. I don't want it to go bad. That's good. Maybe a little less peanut will be nice, but it's really good. Let me, let me finish this piece. I will three pieces, yeah. Apple 3 a.m. I actually live near New York City. I'm like 40 minutes away from it. It's nice for now, but I'd like to move to California at some point. That would be my dream. Oh god, this. I think I remember how this works. I, I jump on here to pull the monkey down. Or no? Oh yeah, no, no, no. This is what I do. Oh, you can't charge like this, though. That's... The biggest problem. I'm pretty sure that monkey's from uh, Mega Man 8. Because you do the same thing with like barrels and shit. Uh oh. Alright, never mind, that doesn't hit. Shots are too big. What? No, come on. That is so unfair, I beat him. And then the game, like, made me lose control. Yeah, in Mega Man 8, you had to use the fucking, uh, soccer ball. Which is, like, the dumbest power-up ever. Oh. Oh my god, Eddie. Eddie, you are a lifesaver. That'd be when I throw the game across the room. Have you ever played Tales of Fantasia? Um, I was fighting the final boss in that game once. 
Yeah, no, that was salt. Um, that was definitely salt. That was well-deserved salt, though. Um, I was fighting the final boss of Tales of Fantasia, like, second to last form. I beat it, the head exploded, and then the body just stayed there on screen. And I almost threw my Game Boy Advance into the trash. Because I was so aggravated that it happened. Actually, no, I was playing it on a DS. But I was still, uh, extremely aggravated at that. I love the Tail series. I like it. I used to love the Tail series. After Vesperia, it kind of fell off with me. I feel like all the Tails games now are getting too generic JRPG ish, and they're kind of losing the charm that I feel the pre Graces games had. Graces was okay. Vesperia was good. Uh, Symphonia was good. Abyss was good. Fantasia was good. Symphonia 2 had new voice actors, which kind of a mixed bag. This area was great. Oh, wait. Let's turn Eddie off. Anything JRPG? I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking JRPGs. I just feel like I'm so... I've played so many of them that a lot of them have lost their touch. And wow, I'm already close to death again. Talk about a uh, robbed victory. I could have had that. What, what happened to the item here? Oh, that was a spike. I don't see weapons being too... This is mostly just me not getting hurt. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, I'm backing up for that, because you have to, like... The fact that there's, like, no way to avoid that is really annoying. A very poorly designed boss. All right. I'm not going through that again. Now, I think saving here doesn't actually... You have to freaking jump off before the death, yeah. Also, I think one of my lights just... No, I didn't. Now, I think even if I save, uh, it does not save the stage being beaten. So, I have to beat this in one go. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm beating this in one go anyway, but... Ooh, yes, we'll buy that. Uh, let's buy this. All right, I think we're back up to full. Yeah, I'm wondering why Capcom is kind of ignoring this game in terms of re-releases. I guess they don't consider it a main game. Like, they don't consider Mega Man Soccer a main game. When soccer's so choppy. Oh, wow, you don't refill anything here. I might have to, uh... Make a little extra trip. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this stage is long. There are three, uh, bosses in this stage. And they are all difficult.
I've actually never played Mega Man Soccer. Yeah, there's a Mega Man Soccer game. When I was young, mm. it was a very common joke to just hate on that game. But apparently some people really love it. I do have the guard on, right? Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, at least I can refill the magic card. Oi. Sort of beat the game by getting a lucky goal, getting possession of the ball and running into the corner for the rest of the match. <laughs> God, screw absorbers. How you get up there? Damn it. Oh, well, I got another one at least. Not that it helps me. Shouldn't. I needed both. Oh, no, 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 don't waste it. Soiled. I think this is the tank. Yep. But, but, but. Oh, yeah, this is when you first start hearing this music. Those hit you from underneath, so you gotta move. Ow. You gotta beat every little section of it. Again, much easier as base. I don't think it's going to happen on this life. Oh, okay. And it puts you all the way back at the beginning. Hmm. Like I said, this game, not too player friendly. Everything's full up at least. My prize ball's gone. And I'm down a life. Yeah, this is where the game gets, uh... Well, let's be honest, this whole game is difficult. This is where they start stepping this shit up, though. I swore the game saved when I went in there, though. Oh, it doesn't. I think it's time for another bite. 
I think you could hit that top part when it's open. I think I have to actually. That's the worst part. Oh, there's like a hair in my mouth. buttons to get those things off you. See, this part's a lot easier as base because he could rapid fire right through that. that part down. I think I remember the pattern now. It's just, uh, like, hit it once, then you gotta run away. Or not. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Mm -hmm. No, 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 don't, not like that. Oh, come on. I feel, all right, hold on. to hit him when that thing's up, but I can't figure out how to make him, like, pull it up when I'm not underneath him. He only seems to do it when I'm directly underneath him. Man, that takes a long time to refill. I should have to be standing still. Yeah, it's you have to stand still for it.
At least I have reliable healing now. Also, I gotta keep that in mind when I'm about to face another boss and I'm... Like, got no health left. And there goes a bunch of health I just lost. Oh my god, and you know what? It wasn't even worth it. Because in the end, all the health just went right away. Yeah, it's my very slow E tank. At least it's infinite. Ones in Mega Man Zero work better, though. Seriously, the headpiece of Mega Man Zero, it's like one piece every couple seconds, as opposed to this, where it's like, wait 10 seconds for one piece of health. It's probably not that long, it's more like five seconds. <sighs> There's like no point, I'll make one mess up and lose everything. Get it out, I could just slide. Yeah, I don't think sliding actually counts as moving. Figure out how to get this thing to fire now without losing it. Any advice or you know you're still jammed? We're still jammed. Full extent of the jam. There we go. Until last second to pull that up. Come on, do it. There we go. All right, we're not even remotely done with this stage yet.
Uh, what do we need? Copy vision back first. Got a life back. So we're pretty good. We're pretty maxed out here. Also, I'm very itchy, sorry. <laughs> Interesting. You're required to use double double roo double you burner here. When there's two kangaroos in the room, that's a double roo a double roo. I think. Yep. Oh, here we go. This is the bad one. This is even worse than the tank. In fact, let me grab a stack now because it's gonna be a while. Hmm. I can't remember how to fight this boss. Oh, good. Alright, so note to self, don't hit the ones with the flashy dots on it in the middle. Like that. Because that happens. This game goes to great lengths to frustrate you, too, because notice how there's no save point right before the bosses, whereas before in Dynamo Man stage, they would give me a midpoint, a save point before mid-boss and after one, and now it's like, no, nope, we're not going to give you one right before. You have to beat the boss to start the next area. I mean, the upside is that these levels, these sections are very short, but it's still frustrating. No, no, I don't have to beat the tank again. Uh, it gives you a save point after you do it, after you beat a mini-boss, but not before. So if you lose, you have to do the whole section before it over again. Excuse me. is BS, especially since the W burner, technically, you don't get a refill for it when you die, so... You could get one here, but... Hold on, I'm not ready yet. Ah, my nose. Alright. Put this on. Oh, wait, the auto health isn't going to help me. Why isn't... Oh, I didn't actually clip it. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Hold on, sorry about that. I hit the Xbox button, and it, like, froze the game. Jeez.
Oh, come on! That was a nice way to start the fight. Yeah, that fist is just like, ugh. Hit your platform, you're fucked. Huh. There is an extra life there. Oh, that makes this a lot easier. Never mind. Well, actually, no, it's easy. I just don't have to, sh I just don't shoot it until I'm over there. At least there's an extra life. So as long as I know how to get it, then I'm fine. I won't I won't completely destroy myself here. There was no way to avoid that. Actually, I didn't even equip it. Shit. <laughs> Which console was this game on? Uh, originally, it was on Super Nintendo in Japan only. And then it got ported to Game Boy Advance in all regions. Uh, and it has not been re-released on any other system so far. God. Ugh. No, 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 no. No! That's so unfair. There's no way to avoid that if you can't, like, jump over it. Truly the worst level. No! Oh, come on! Now I can't get over there in time! <sighs> I am actually gonna lose all my lives at this rate. Should probably remap the jump button. My A button on this controller is really worn down.
Ugh. And yes, I have to eyeball that. I have to, like, just kind of guess if I hit one of those. Because you can just fall straight down. How was I... The platform was too high. There's nothing I can do about that. If it's out of my hands, then, like, why am I being punished for that? Can you shoot them out of the air? I don't know. What? What the? Okay. That was weird. Like the, the controller just stopped working for a second. This, I, I really love this controller, but it really feels like it's starting to break. Because that was definitely not good. What just happened right there? I'm really worried now because of that controller loop. It's the same thing that happened to me during uh, Sega Nintendo 3 a few months ago. Where my controller literally just stopped working in every regard. And then I got killed. And I thought I had like some status ailment that was stopping me from moving. Oh, you can't shoot them. All right, got it. Whoo! Yeah, the flash things are surprisingly not the most threatening thing in that fight. They, it feels like it would be, but it's not. Whew. Okay. Section 3. I believe this is the end. And why did I pick Copy Vision? I did not mean to do that. Oh, hey. Thought that was gonna be a trap. That one is. Okay, what the hell? It's 
we need the ice fall again. That is a drill. Yep. Uh, wait, how the fuck? Okay. Need to think this through here. While I do, I'm gonna bite of my apple. Hmm. Pop. Okay, but seriously, how do I get over there? Well, that. Um. Uh, eh. Okay, that's clearly like I'm, I'm getting. I feel like I'm close with this, but now I'm like not moving enough. Still the apple? Yeah, it's a big apple. <laughs> I, got, I got three pieces. I've only eaten a piece and a half. I have on hand. Eddie doesn't work. Rush does not work. T-Blade's not gonna do shit. Mine's not gonna do shit. It's the ice wall. It's gotta be. Damn it! Alright. There we go. Just kinda had to eke in there a bit. Okay, and I need the ice wall again here for this. And one more. There we go. Eat it all at once? No. Well, first off, it's in multiple pieces, so that wouldn't work. Alright, here we go. I believe we face it. We face. We face King now. Oh, I got sick in my teeth. God damn it. Shouldn't have had the apple. You gotta head out. Thanks for the enjoyable stream. Hope you finish this one. I hopefully will before the end. I've got another hour to go. Welcome. I never thought I would meet you here. I suppose that I have underestimated you. But your journey will come to an end here. You should feel... You should, you should be... You should feel honored to be destroyed by the king. I fucked that line up. I believe hitting him at all during this is a mistake. Now he does uh, you know, he does the X attacks. Get equipped with the apple stuck in the teeth, yeah. Down, down, up, up. Oh, no, never mind. I don't know why I'm charging, honestly, it's probably a mistake. I can handle this. Uh, hmm. Seems I have no other choice but to resort to extremes. Mega Man, stay back. I'll put my whole energy into the next shot. Wait. If you do that, you may overheat. Or explode. I owe this guy. Now it's time to pay him back. Funny, but so very reckless. Big Bang Strike! What the fuck is that? Has he ever done that move ever? This can't be. Proto Man, are you alright? 
Ugh. Proto Man, let's evacuate now. Can you put your arm across my shoulders? What are you doing? Are you gonna waste my sacrifice? You must finish him for me. Enough. Oh yeah, now I actually have to fight him. Shit. What? No, don't, don't eyeball. Don't eye beam. No eye beams. Shit. Oh, god damn it. And of course you gotta do it all over again. You know what, I'm getting hit on the top wall, and that's probably what's doing me in there. I kinda, kinda gotta squeeze in underneath it. There we go. I mean, I appreciate them fully refilling me- f f Philly refilling me? Fully refilling me! But, without extra lives, it's kinda pointless. That's why you don't want to shoot that thing. I don't know what determines which way he shoots that, though. See, because then he goes up with those last two. Also, why is he jumping so much? I feel like there was, n like, what the hell? I feel like it's- it, that second time was completely different from the first. Cool. It didn't work that time. Yeah, this game feels kind of poorly designed. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I see. All right, it's it's down, down, up, down.
Down, down, up, down, up. There we go. The worst part is I don't even think this is the end of the stage. I think we have another fight after this. Can you stop jumping to the edges when I'm there? Yeah, keep doing that move. That move's good. No, don't stop me with that move now, please. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> it's like, please, please don't do that. Okay, now you can do it again. No, don't fuck beam me. Don't eyeball fuck beam. You won. Why do you fight so hard for these pitiful humans? Robots are superior to humans. Superiority, it's not the point. Maybe, or maybe not. Just put me out of my misery. But before that, we'd better let him evacuate. That way he has a chance to be repaired. Zoop. Don't worry about him. I beamed him out of the castle. After all, I am the Lord of Robots. That doesn't mean I want to see our species destroyed. King, let's evacuate together. Dr. Light can heal your wound. That isn't possible. I'll explode if anyone but Dr. Wily tries to operate on me. Dr. Wily created you? Oh, what a shock. King, what happened to you? Are your logic circuits damaged? Your enemy is right in front of you! Ugh, I don't understand. Why do robots have to fight each other for the sake of humans? Piece of junk. I'll boost your brainwashing level. You could do that? No. Not the cube of shame. Or the cylinder of shame. Let's save ourselves some time here. I believe I need the ice wall and I'm gonna need that thing. All the beams. <laughs> Actually, no. I do need ice wall, but I'm not gonna need to use it to attack. Oh, okay, that was a safe spot. So yeah, it's a tank and the ship from before. Fuse into one giant fuck robot. Fun fact, this is the only part of the game that's harder as base than Mega Man. What you have to do with base is you actually have to, like, dash jump up to hit him, because this little platform is not here as Mega Man at all. And I fell. Cool beans. I can use that, that doesn't do a lot of damage, but whatever. I'm 
Never mind, I died. <sighs> oh yeah, I don't need the ice wall at all. I can just jump up here. Okay, cool. So you jump too high, you shoot over him. Shoot too low, it bounces off the little little rim. It's neato. You need to be like right on. Fucking come on! All right, there we go. He actually doesn't have a whole lot of health. But yeah, it's a fair bit harder as base because there's no platform at the edge. There we go. Ugh, you should leave this place now. This place could explode at any moment. King, you must come with me. Of course, I'll leave this place too. But only after you go first. He's not leaving. <laughs> He's gone. I wish I had a transportation system in me. Goodbye, Mega Man. Don't let other robots suffer my sad fate. I am counting on you. And he's gone. Oh, that nightmare's finally over. Now into the final nightmare. But first, let's uh, restock here. Okay, and I already got the spike guard. I don't got any new discs, have I? This is the end. Nope. Oh boy. Here we go, final stage. This is this is uh this is where it gets rough. If it wasn't rough already. Let me get some more apple here. Mmm. A final salt. Mmm, good. Oh fuck, I didn't refill my weapons. So yeah, this final stage wastes no time. Just throws you right into the shit. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's all the stage is. I don't think there's anything else to it. Ugh. 
Oh, never mind. There was more stuff to this stage after all. Man, you do not get a long window with these fucking blocks. Also, notice that there's like a trick pattern here. You don't get on the first set. They like tease you with the second set that doesn't get that extra block at the right. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually get you in there. God, I had the spike blocker. Though it really probably didn't help me all that much. It did not. There was another one to the right. Come on, man. Get with it. You can't be losing lives this early on in. Whoops. Hey, look at that. I got my lives back. Or my last two, at least. pattern. Okay, there we go. Oh god, why? That's fine and all, but I could really use weapon energy more than life and whatever. Astro Man. Way easier than last time. Yeah, he's a Mega Man 8. Oh, half the Robot Masters in this game are from 8. The other half are from... or new. Rather. Ugh, more instant death spikes.
They see are dropping power up. Some of these worms don't drop anything. Yes, Tengu Man is in this game. Don't need any more screws. I'm just grinding for weapon energy here. There we go, that was good. Still nowhere near Phil, though. The one time I don't want health is when you get it. <laughs> This game has ever been run at uh, a GDQ, because man, this game must be brutal to speedrun. Not having any E tanks must make this run a lot harder than, say, uh, like a cla another class, any other classic series. Getting there, but not quite. How do I get over there? I guess I gotta use the ice pillar. Which is really annoying that in the stage where using the weapons is probably of utmost importance against enemies, they're making you waste it for utility reasons. Okay, I'm all full. Mostly. My health is still smidge low because I got hit. Of course, now I would like the health and it's not going to show up. Oh wait, I could just... Those guys don't come down here, so I could just, uh... Okay. I don't really need the lightning bolt. I mean, I already used it. Ugh, time for another bite of my apple. I got one more piece left of it. If I'm chewing, that means I don't have to make conversation. <laughs> okay, who's next? Oh boy, F fuck mo man.
You're gonna jump first, you're gonna jump, then you're gonna run, then you're gonna dash, then you're gonna do that. Go, go, go! Alright, good. Got him. Assuming this is Pirate Man, so W Burner it is. No, he could do that. You can just like knock him out. All right, time to auto refill. By the way, this is running at 800% speed, and that's still how slow it fills up. The weapon has a different function underwater. Yeah, it makes like a whirl a whirlwind, which is weird because you never need it. Other, well, no, that's not true. You need to light blocks on fire. Okay, never mind. I am sorely mistaken on that regard. Weapon, fuck. Another penguin up there. God damn it. Uh oh, here we go. Super fucking burner, man. this fight and he just breaks the ice when you don't when he's not um when he's charging this fight is garbage i hate it so much
Eddie, come on, man. Really? Just shaft me that hard? You gotta be kidding me, right? That was a joke. That had to be a joke. God, I hate Burner Man so fucking much. Ugh. Nothing I can fucking do now. Got no beat. Got no ice wall. I don't know what to do. Should I go back down and fill up a bit? Or... Fuck. This game is rough. So why do people DM me in the middle of a stream on Twitter? They know I'm streaming. Very odd. Oi, 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 ugh. So much shit on Twitter. That thing respawns, but uh, it's a lot of work just to get one. Yeah, this isn't gonna work out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here forever. Boy, I got one little notch of energy. I don't very much care for this game. <laughs> Come on, come off it now. At least it's almost done, yeah I know, if I could beat this goddamn stage. How many Robot Masters have I beaten now? Three? Or four? Th uh, three. Shit. Just the fucking worst, though. Four? 
Burner Man, Dynamo Man, Cold Man, and... Oh, Pyre Man. Okay. No, but I haven't beaten Burner Man yet. What am I saying? Pirate Man, Dynamo Man, Cold Man, and who else? Oh, Astro Man. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I am halfway done. So what do I have left? Tengu Man? He's pretty easy. Magic Man? He's pretty easy. Ground Man? I think he's easy now that I have the weapon. And then Burner Man, who's just... Ugh, just pull my hair out. I don't need any more nuts, or bolts, or screws, or whatever they're called. Don't need that either. Okay, that's full. We should probably set a beat, too. Great, I lost more energy there. So, I found out- I read up some interesting info on uh, Mega Man 11 today that they revealed in a- or they're going to reveal in the Game Informer article. Uh, apparently, the way the special uh, weapons work, in terms of scrolling through them in Mega Man 11, instead of it being like an L or R button the deal, uh, what you do instead is on your second stick, because again, it's, you know, these are going to be for dual stick games, or dual stick systems, your right stick will have a weapon programmed to each of the eight directions. So up is one, left is one, right is one, up right is one, down left, something like that. And they said there's a way to combo the way you switch your weapons into each other. You can assign a few of them of certain buttons or something. I think what it is, they said what it is, is it's going to be completely set to um, your your right stick. And they said there's a way to actually combo them. So, that, like, you're doing one move with one direction, and then, like, you quickly switch to another weapon and follow it up. That and the, um, and the new abilities regarding those gears on Mega Man's UI... Uh, do something that apparently changes your movement to combat skills. I don't quite understand what they mean by it, but I I'm assuming it means blending movement in with fighting, which I guess is kind of a staple of Mega Man. You're expected to run and shoot, so there you go. What really intrigued me, though, and I shared this uh, screenshot on Twitter today, earlier, um, one of the abilities you get gives Mega Man the Star Force, like, costume. It gives him the Omega hand cannon, and it makes his little circle ear things go pointed. And it's weird, because it's not, like, a subtle reference. It's flat out a Mega Man Star Force costume. Which makes me wonder why and how is it there, if this is classic series that we're talking about. Any more weapon energy? No. Alright, let's, um... Oh, I just realized, uh, the weapon saver works with the shield. Twice. Good. Whoop. Ah, oh, thank God. But yeah, I'm like really wondering, like, is that just a little costume that you could get for Mega Man? Is it just a clever throwback? Or is this game actually going to tie into every other Mega Man series somehow? Is this another fight already? Looks like it. I don't know, it's just this enemy again.
I don't think killing this thing actually matters because it's just gonna respawn. Yep. What the? And ag okay, and ag again with the uh, controllers not working. That's really worrying me. God, this is a long passageway. Who's next? This looks like Magic Man. Okay. T Blade. Slice. Yeah, I'm just gonna cheap out the auto healing at this point. It's it's really not worth stressing over. All things considered, I'm doing pretty good. I'm full. Okay. Cool. Nope. Oh. Maybe. Maybe let's not go up there yet. Alright, really? Okay. Well. I got wasted dealing with assholes. Fuck! I knew that was coming and I fell for it anyway. Time to use the uh, bombs that I haven't used at all since I got them. Those explode at all until he comes down. Uh, well, now I'm out. And I'm almost out of health. Wow, if I actually blow this now because of that, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, good. Ow, and I didn't even wait.
Bombless Pits. We know who's coming next. Uh, uh, cool. Controller. What the fuck? It just, like, stopped, mo like, taking all input in. And it did it again. What the f fuck is going on here? I'm really worried. I don't want this controller to break on me here. I can't afford another one. Really? I thought that killed him instantly. Nope. Lightning bolt will, though. Uh, okay, what is he weak against? Drill. Right. Right, it's the drill. Yeah, it is. It's the drill. No, 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 no. We don't do that. In this house, we don't do that. Oh, also, why did it switch me to that? Come on. There we go. And that's all of them. fill before the last section? No. You just go straight into it. Shit. Darn that king. How dare he disobey his maker. It is a good thing that Mega Man took care of him for me. And now I've regained control of my laboratory castle. Time to get back to my plan of world domination again. But first, I will personally eliminate Mega Man. Are you ready to be eliminated, Mega Man? Alleviate two forms. Also, I am not going through all this again, so if I lose all my lives here, I'm switching to fucking save states. Uh, let's see, we got the damage reduction. This on. I don't know what he's weak against, though. Oh, you can just shoot him. That works. It's this, it's this old form. Oh, that's new, though. Damages him. Oh, just shooting him works, okay. Not by much, though. It does not do a lot of damage. That 
does a little bit more? Not really. It might be magic card, I'm not sure. Nah, I, I can't even hit him with that. Nah, that doesn't work. Lightning Bolt does damage, but not much. Oh, there we go. T-Blade. But I'm dead. Unfortunately, there's no way to refill here, so this is kind of it. Actually, that's not doing that much. That only does one hit as well. Shit. Maybe it's the mines. Nope. Copy vision? No, that can't be it. I mean, that's the only other thing that's there, honestly. Looks like everything just does one damage to him. It's probably just a plain old Mega Buster, then, honestly. Yeah, charge shots. That's it. Just charge shots. Stop going low, you ass! Alright, well, we know what to do. It's just charge shots. Again, I feel like the large sprites really do this game a disservice because it makes it so hard to dodge.
Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I jumped, not slid. I think he's gonna do the spiral and instead he does like the long one or the, sh the homing one more one more no one more oh come on you asshole got him there for fuck's sake dude Mega Man, welcome home. Chirp, chirp. Woof, woof. You're so amazing, Mega Man. Good work, Mega Man. Huh? What's troubling you? You don't look happy. Boss designer Hitoshi Ariga. Oh, shit. I wish I was something efficient. I didn't read that. And I could have saved King. Don't let it get you down. Why don't you show him that roll? Show him that roll. Thanks, lols. Here. It's a letter for you. I already read it. Because I'm an asshole. A letter from who? Isn't this seal familiar? To you? The letter reads... Dear Mega Man... It took our battle for me to realize that I was wrong. From now on, I'd like to atone for my crimes against the people whom I caused such pain and suffering. Also, shout out to Bupo, the graphic designer. I pledge my loyalty to world peace until the day that faith of robot the robots is restored. If we were to meet again, I hope it will be as friends and not of enemies. Your friend, King. King is alive? I wish him the best of luck. <laughs> the end. CDs 22. Damn, that was hard. Remind me to never play this game as Mega Man again. Uh, so, that is it as Mega Man. I'm going to end the stream in like three minutes. Or now. But I will show off base before I go. Just I'll show off his intro. I'll show you how he plays differently. First, he has a cool loading screen. Uh, he fires like this instead. He cannot run while he's firing, but he could fire in eight directions. Uh, he can't fire down. Uh, he does not have... Oh, I actually don't have the move. I was going to say, he doesn't have a slide, but he can dash. But apparently you have to actually buy the dash. Oh, no, no, you can do it. It's double tapping. So it goes farther than the slide, but it also uh, doesn't let him slide under shit. Because he's still kind of big. His buster is also kind of weak compared to Mega Man's. It's just much faster. And he can't charge shot, obviously. Oh, yeah, and he can double jump. So as you could see... He's a lot more movement-oriented. In other words, he doesn't have to waste his fucking ice wall constantly to get ahead. It's a lot less waiting with base, even though he can't move while he fires.
As far as weapons go, though, he has the same abilities as Mega Man in this game. He gets the weapons normally, and, and that's it. It is just kind of annoying. Like, you, it takes some getting used to because you can't move and shoot. You have to stop dead in your tracks to fire. Even if you're holding forward, it'll just stop your movement. Honestly, if I wasn't all, all Mega man out now, I would probably play the game again as base. Just to show you how much easier it is. There's a way to make his bullets bigger, too. One of his power-ups. Also, he instead of getting Rush, he gets a treble, which is his, like, purple and black dog. And he can wear his armor. I would love it if base was playable in uh, Mega Man 11 and Proto Man 2. Also, the dialogue is different for base. Proto Man. I don't. I don't know what kind of voice base would have. He violates the robot museum and then he cuts you down and blah blah blah. Oh yeah, let me show you how easy the first boss is with him. Is that the robot who calls himself King? What a joke. Everyone knows that I'm the mightiest robot in the world. I'll show whom deserves to be called King. Doesn't even say anything to Proto Man. And Proto Man just leaves. I appreciate your arrogance, but I have no time for you. I'll allow the Green Devil to handle you. So watch this. You stand here and bam, bam. I'm a little too low. All right, maybe it's not as easy as I make it as, as I said it was. It is if you know what you're doing. But yeah, uh, you can go to Auto Shop, and he has different items. Spare Body, E-Bound. Well, these are all the same. His later ones are different. So I can't really show you them. But yeah, that is it for Mega Man and Base. I am all streamed out for the night. Uh, here, they, they borrowed a lot of stuff from previous games. They did. So, here's the deal with streaming uh, next week. There's no more streams this week. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Next week, I'm going to have company coming down most likely Tuesday through Thursday. And then on Friday, I, I can't stream. So oh. there's only probably going to... Excuse me. There's only probably going to be one stream, and it's going to be on Monday. It'll be more Metal Gear 2. I'm assuming I'm not going to finish it next stream. Or if I do, then, you know, it'll, that'll probably be it. But... That'll put me two streams behind, because I'm already one behind, and then only doing one stream next week will put me two behind. I think what I'm going to do the week after that, which is the week before Christmas, I'm going to do a week of four streams, Monday through Thursday. I'll finish up Metal Gear 2, and then I'll move on, most likely, to Parasite Eve, which is technically a Christmas game. And um, that'll be, and then the following week, I'll probably only do two streams. And we'll see what happens after that. But yeah, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks for enduring all the salt, as always. And hopefully, there'll be a little less of it next time. Appreciate you guys coming. Thank you for the contributing. Blah, 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 yada, yada. I, I, I lost my train of thought. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you on Monday with more Metal Gear 2. Good night. <laughs>